Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Ghost of Tsushima. And this one's going to be a super quick one and it is completely spoiler free. This is just a nice chance to see some of the beauty that is in this game. I want to put together six awesome locations you can visit to take some really nice photos. Now, honestly, anywhere you go in this game, it just looks fantastic. You can basically pause at any point, turn on photo mode, and you've got a nice photo. But if you're looking for a few of those uh, spicy locations to get those really clean photos, then look no further. Of course, if you do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated. As you're playing the game, if you guys discover locations yourselves that you think are photo worthy, then let me know in the comments down below. And of course, be sure to keep it locked because we've got plenty more Tsushima coverage coming your way over the next few days. Now, first off, in at number one, we have the Omi Monastery. This is just a really cool place in general. No matter wherever you walk, of course, you've got all these nice temples of varying heights and shapes and whatnot. So you can kind of explore and sort of pick some really nice angles around here. In fact, one of the very first screenshots I actually took was this one which was taken sort of just below the statue. However, if you go and climb on top of the temple as well, you can actually get some really nice aerial shots. But basically, anywhere around these sort of Omni Monastery temple grounds make for some very, very nice photos. Location number two is in the middle of Tsushima Island on the uh, Toyotama region. And for this one, you want to go to the Field of Equinox Flower, or the Field of the Equinox Flower. This is basically one of those really iconic fields full of red flowers. And again, you know, the nice thing is it's quite an open field, so the sun sets across it quite nicely. And you can basically pick any position amidst all the flowers and get some really cool action shots, especially if you happen to be fighting Mongols out here, you can get some really cool action shots, anything like that. So basically, any of those iconic shots amidst the fields, it's like those sort of things you'd see in samurai movies when they have those typical showdowns. This is a very nice location. Similar to the last one, location number three, this time we're turning our attention to purple flowers. If you go over to Tadayori's Rest, which this time is in the lower portion of the island in Izuhara, you want to go down here and you can kind of walk to it and get through like a little gap in the rock. But basically, pause anywhere in the midst of this and you have your nice purple flowers. And this actual kind of area, the flowers do actually go slightly further afield. They kind of go up the mountains and whatnot, so you can walk out of here. But this is quite a nice enclosed area with a few structures around it, so you can get some pretty cool shots. Next up on the list, in fact, one of the first areas you probably will encounter when you're playing through the game, and that is the Golden Temple. But right next to the Golden Temple is the Golden Forest. You can kind of see a theme here. We're basically going for places that have really striking colors because these typically look nice when you get the right weather conditions, when it's the right time of day and the sun is setting just right. You can get some really cool pictures, but the Golden Forest to the right of the Golden Temple is just an incredible area of photos. It's quite a sort of vertical area as well. There's kind of a lot of sort of steep hills so you can get some cool angles in there, but there are also plenty of rocks to jump on for those kind of elevated shots. But this is uh, one of those nice places for those autumnal photos. After that, while still staying in Izuhara and a little bit kind of south of our previous location, we're going to the Kuta Grasslands. Again, this is another one of those sort of iconic areas with this really tall grass. This is actually really cool because if you happen to gallop past on your horse, sometimes Jin will actually lean over and kind of stroke the grass with his hand, which is, uh, you know, makes for a nice shot. But otherwise, just being up in the open air kind of obviously makes for some nice sunset shots. You can definitely get that as you can sort of see the sun in the background. Just play around with some of those filters. Definitely mess around with loads of the kind of tools here. The photo mode in this game is fantastic. There's so many things you can do with it. But uh, yeah, this is another iconic location. And the last one, one of my favorite locations is again, middle of the map in the Toyotama region. You wanna go down to the far right hand side to the Cloud Ridge Shrine. This in itself is just kind of a cool shrine to visit, but the nice thing about this one is on the way to the shrine, there is a bridge that you can cross and it is surrounded and sort of engulfed by these bamboo trees. In fact, very nearby here, you also have Kushi Temple, which also has the bamboo forest around it. But honestly, this specific location with the shrine gate amidst all of those bamboo trees, especially if you get the lighting conditions right and it's kind of the right time of day, you can get some very nice photos here. Anyway, there you have it. Just a super quick video for you guys. I thought I'd drop this today because this kind of gives you a chance to sort of see how nice the game looks before we start treading into some of the sort of in-game content and some of the sort of, you know, locational stuff, gear stuff, that kind of stuff that I know you guys want to see and we do have prepared for you. But in the meantime, for those of you that are maybe waiting for your download to finish or wait for the game to go live, this should uh, show you some of the beauty of the game.
Anyway, that's it for the time being. Be sure to keep it locked because we have got a ton of Tsushima content coming your way over the next few days and you definitely don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.